I've always felt I'm too white for Korean people and then I'm too Korean Asian for American slash non-Korean people. I felt an alien to both where I carry parts of each but because of that I will never fully belong to one or the other. So for the title, I am both Korean and American. I was born in New Jersey, my parents are both full Korean and so this is something about my part of my identity that I've struggled with throughout the entire course of my life. I've always felt like I had to choose between one or the other and or either that people would choose for me. And I have to say this just right off the bat. When I think about this question now, this question used to plague my mind. Like, oh my god, like what am I? What would I choose? But now when I think about the questions, like this this question doesn't even make any sense, honestly. It's like it's a very self-explanatory question because it's like, oh, you're Asian American, you're Korean American. And then to 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 ask me Okay, but what would you consider yourself as? Like, if you had to choose, what would what would you pick? And it's like, why do I have to choose though? I don't think people ask this with ill intentions. I think also like one of the reasons why is because it just makes it easier for people to be like, okay, like this person is X, this person is that, this person is Korean, this person is American, this person is this, this person is that. It makes it easier to categorize people and for better or for worse like it is what it is but like you know like mm. so i was born and raised in new jersey and i went to an all-white private school and i didn't experience severe bullying uh when i was younger i did definitely get made fun of and i definitely had people make, had people make cry because they're making fun of me because of my race because of who i was all that jazz but not severe bullying. There would be instances where I definitely diminished and lessened my Korean side of myself when I went to school. But also what I'm very thankful for in my youth is that while I had that part, that aspect of my life, I also, during this time, I also went to a Korean community church where, you know, the Koreans in the area you know, would congregate for, you know, for church and there'd be kids around my age, a bit older, and my Korean culture was nourished. And that's something I'm very thankful for. Yet at school, it was a completely different story. It's like one part of me that the Korean part of my identity thrived. It's like, oh yeah, this, this is where I am. This is, this is my zone. And then I go to school and it's just nothing. I try to fit in. I try to blend in as much as possible. There'd be instances where my mom would pack me food from my culture, things like seaweed, you know, kim, or you know, different other things. And I would have kids like just ask me questions, like judge me, just start to make fun of me because of those, because of it. And then I'd bring to stop packing me those things. I did whatever I could to diminish anything that made me different when I was a kid. And I distinctly remember feeling that I hated being Asian when I was younger. I hated being Asian because that meant that I was different. And I have felt, I've always felt that I never belonged. Not just with the school part, but just in general. I have always felt I never fully belonged to either being Korean or American. I've always felt I'm too white for Korean people and then I'm too Korean Asian for American slash non-Korean people. I have felt an alien to both where I carry parts of each but because of that I will never fully belong to one or the other. And I think like especially no matter whatever you are, especially if you're mixed, when you are half of something, you are half and half of something, it seems, it has always seemed like we have to choose between one or the other, or even that people choose for you who you are. And I've had people on both sides do this, like young, old, family, friends, random strangers do this to me. You know, I've literally had Korean people, like as we're talking, like I'll, I'll try to be speaking to them in Korean, and they speak to me back in English. 
and these were not just like one time things some some of them were but some of these were repeated like throughout the course of years and most of the time it was with people that like i knew or like with the same people and i remember feeling like i don't know like i was being denied in some sense i don't know how to quite phrase it like no you're not one of us no matter how much you try to speak our language or try to fit in and try to be one of us we will never see you as one of us i think it's very frustrating being mixed or being half and half of something when it's like both groups don't really fully accept you because they consider you part of the other group but then the other group doesn't accept you because they consider you part of the other group and it's like no matter where you go you don't fit in because you're half because you're not full you'll never fully belong now so there's a mix of things that go that are going on with like my circle of identity and like now i'm i'm very thankful i'm in a place in my life where genuinely i don't really care about this question this, this question doesn't plague my thoughts as, uh, anymore and it's like now i know the answer i don't have to choose but i think there's a diff there's definitely some variables going on into like why this impacted me so much during my youth and throughout so much of my life it's like one i was young i was impressionable and to hear people constantly telling you left and right, you know, what are you? What do you consider yourself as? And truly, before people ask me these questions, I never, I never stopped to get ask myself this before. I was like, oh, like, I did not have to choose. It was such an arbitrary question. Like every single time someone has asked me this question, I genuinely was just taken aback because I never thought of this before. But anyway, like one, I think again, young impressionable i cared a lot of how others perceived me and i cared more about how people other people viewed me than how i viewed myself one and then the other thing is that again the implication that seems ingrained into us that we have to choose between one or the other that we can't we can't be half and half you got to choose like what are you what are you and most importantly never feeling like we belong to one or the other because of these things i am so thankful that i'm coming to a point in my life where i am making peace with myself all the things that i never thought i would accept about myself i am slowly starting to accept especially things that i cannot change like what can i do about this I genuinely can't do anything about this and that's okay this is part of me this is part of my journey in life and hey like it is what it is but again i am reaching a peace within myself finding what's the word ground and solidity in who i am as a person and i'm i'm very so very thankful i'm i can say that and, and truly mean that so when coming upon this question again, which one are you? Like, I, I came to that thought, like, why do I have to choose? Why do I have to choose when I encompass both parts within me? And like, is it bad to be half of something? I don't, I don't want to think, and I don't think that I am less than because I'm half when in instead i also encompass another culture another experience i no longer care and i don't wish to care about belonging or being accepted by the views and opinions of other people they don't and i don't want them to determine my identity and who i am as a person i am both and i don't have to choose and i don't want to choose i can be both and i am both and that is my answer. Thank you for watching. Take care.